Happy, happy Friday. Welcome to Lifestyle Live. Okay, we are talking baklava. Is that right, fellas? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're with Kramer and Almost Famous Dual Thread here today. We're going to be talking coffee, cocktails, and all types of things, right, Kramer? Yep, 100%. Yep. Oh, man, we're ready for this. Amber, are you ready for this? I'm ready for this. I'm ready. I'm baklava. I'm ready. Baklava. Baklava. It's just fun to say, isn't it? Just a little bit of baklava. Hey, also coming up today on Lifestyle Live, it is time for a trip down memory lane. We chat with food author Adam Richman as he relives his childhood by tasting, get this, some of the foods of the 1980s in the new half-hour series, Adam Eats the 80s. We're not feel like this is something you would want to do. Randall Ooh, Eats the yeah. 80s, right? Eats the 80s. I'll eat, I'll eat all the eras. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Plus, check this out. It's Friday, so that means it's time for Patty's Picks. Patty Spittler gives us a sneak peek at the new movie, The Batman, Randall. That's the latest the batman I'm hyped for which this opens one. march 4th are you a batman fan huge batman oh, fan oh huge batman huge fan huge batman fan i've seen them all so oh. I'm, I'm ready for this one yeah ready to go a lot of anticipation okay, behind so this, she's going to give this us a preview yeah hey it's friday it's friday right. hey if you missed it just posted on our social media pages yes we did a video with Vita the dog. In yeah, the you gotta room. check that out. And oh, we did. <laughs> you know hound dog. So you guys will like this one. Super, super fun. I mean, it's Friday, right? Yeah, Trying to get everybody in the spirit Friday. I'm mm -hmm. hoping for better weather perhaps yes. this weekend. You know too. what? Not as bad as we were anticipating. I know, which is good. So not too bad. Yeah, I'm, I'm okay not with too that. Bad. Driving was easy for, for at least, I know, my yeah. driving. Yeah, so. yeah. Randy, we asked you earlier in our morning meeting, you said, yeah, there's just a couple little slick spots here and there, but otherwise, it was okay. Yeah, it could have been a lot worse. I know that my limousine driver, when he drove me to oh. work this morning here, he, he was okay. He was sliding a little bit, but yeah. uh, glad you know. made it safe. <laughs> glad you made it okay. Back, so. it, it is cold out there, 27 degrees. There's still maybe a couple flurries around, maybe a little drizzle, and it feels like temperature at 17 degrees. 27 here, 26 Kokomo, 22 South Bend, 23 in Fort Wayne. So we're going to keep it mostly cloudy during the day. It's going to be a chilly day out there. Uh, again, maybe a few flurries during the morning hours by one. 1 o'clock 30, 3 o'clock 32, 5 o'clock temperature right around 31 degrees. Now, storm tracker uh, up north, can see some lake effect snow flurries and snow showers around South Bend and Fort Wayne. And again, a few of these here may kind of bleed down into the middle part of the state. Futurecast model, we take it through the morning hours right there. You can see a few flurries, maybe a snow shower. However, no accumulation expected. And if you are traveling today or this weekend, I think you're going to be in pretty good shape in most areas. Temperature-wise here, overnight tonight, another cold one. Lows down to the teens and 20s. 18 tomorrow morning up around South Bend. 16 Kokomo, Fort Wayne, 21 here, and 19 back out around Terre Haute. So a chilly start to the day early on Saturday. Weekend looks pretty good. This is during the day tomorrow. Uh, we should see a lot of sunshine really throughout the entire weekend. Maybe a few flurries up north of us here, but uh, it will be a chilly weekend. And then we're going to start a gradual warming trend as we head into Sunday. Really, next week looking uh, pretty good across the area. These are highs during the day on Saturday. 37 here, 34 Muncie, Richmond, 39 Bloomington, and 40 back out around Washington. Uh, as we check out our extended outlook, again, it's going to be very quiet out there. No major storms coming in for a good part of next week. 42 on Sunday, 46 Monday, back up to 50 degrees on Tuesday. And we'll keep it dry right on through Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday with highs in the upper 40s around 50. Next chance of rain coming in probably next weekend. So again here, guys, much of next week looking pretty good with temperatures at or a little bit above normal for this time of the year. I like That's that. That's some good stuff. Yeah, right I'm bad. okay with that. Fairly clear yeah. all the way through. So yeah. there you go. Props to you, Randy mm -hmm. Allen, even though he's still just that messenger. Yeah. Can't blame him when it gets bad, right? right. But I will thank him mm -hmm. when I'll, it's good. I'll be glad to blame him when it gets bad. <laughs> You blame him. I'll be glad. I'll encourage him. <laughs> hey, uh, today's question of the day brought to you by Kitchen Saver Custom Cabinet Renewal. Uh, Randall, no shortage mm -hmm. of answers to this one. As you can see, see the picture. Yep. We're asking, what do you call these three, three items? items? Seems pretty simple, right? Yep. Some people have okay. different names. First said hair tie, soda, and shopping cart. Okay. okay. I feel like I'm pretty on board with that right. one. Brooklyn says, oh, ponytail no. holders. Ponytail holders. Coke, all of it. I don't get that one. That's, and yeah. then cart. Is you, it? Because Scott said it might be a Southern thing, but I'm like, that's a Sprite or a Dr. Pepper. That's not all Coke. Yeah, that's that's different. Okay, so <laughs> Shelly says hair ties. Um, what's that one? Soda, Soda. and buggy. I'm telling you, I thought the buggy thing was just a Southern thing. Yeah, but so I guess thought. not. You thought? I now, did. I thought we're universal wrong. out here. Our Southerners. Yeah. Okay, so uh, and then uh, Nancy says Soda. Elastic, elastic and shopping cart. Now, Nancy, huh. I have never heard anyone say, hey, will you hear me elastic? 
Yeah. That's you, interesting need, to uh, me. You see my elastics? <laughs> I just don't know. <laughs> I hey, hey there are no wrong answers here. Yeah. But it is it is so interesting, isn't it, to see what people call mm -hmm. different things. I we don't all know if it's a regional it we all thing. Think something different. I think it's maybe how you grow up. Well, it's what my mom and dad said mm -hmm. kind of thing, you know, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. I think so, too. So keep chiming in. Yeah. Maybe think, read some more of those. You think you want to make it over to the, the baklava? Uh, yeah, baklava. Baklava. We have grandma <laughs> in the kitchen. Follow us on Over, you guys. Gentlemen, good morning to you. Good morning. Happy, happy Friday. Curtis Jordan, what's going yes. on? Yes, sir. All right, a little baklava. Yes. First, though, let's rewind. Yes. Tell us about who you guys are. Let's talk about Krima. The Krima. dual threat. Yeah. Yeah, so Krima during the day, mm -hmm. almost famous at night. Uh, we're bringing both aspects, coffee during the day with some mm -hmm. low ABV cocktails, and we also have some mean crazy vermouths and whatnot on tap mm -hmm. to kind of like bring, you know. Yeah. Uh, and then at night, we have entertainment, dinner, tapas style, small plates. Um, and shows on the stage. We have a stage. Oh, so, wow. That's yeah, so we're trying fun. to utilize the space as much as possible. Man, that's awesome. You guys are definitely taking advantage of that space. <laughs> trying to, yeah. How this do you is so oh, cool. Go ahead, go ahead. No, 